<coughs> welcome to second part of cadence tutorial uh, in this in this we will design a cmos inverter file system application vlsi lab virtuoso mm. tools library manager create a new library cadence uh, tutorial 2 ok uh, attach to an existing technology library VMC18 CMOS Library Manager oh, Spelling mistake here Rename Tutorial K okay. Here it is Create a new cell view We are Making an Inverter schematic fine ok add is add instance use a small letter i library uh, in the last tutorial we used uh, components from analog library but the analog library is an ideal library uh, but for the semiconductor devices it is better to use UMC library bec because we can do the layout of UMC library not all not the analog library analog library is all the ideal components so in the UMC library N18 CMOS this is the 180 nanometer CMOS is the NMOS symbol okay here is the length of the 180 nanometer width to 40 nanometer let it be the minimum value height place it uh, now we need a VMOS repeat the same process with the PMOS 180 nanometer PMOS ok uh, to have equal rise time and fall time uh, make the width double that of NMOS that is 420 hide place it uh, now we need a um, ground ground is always used from the analog library GND is there Okay, now we need a voltage sources VDC fine it is an input source of V pulse voltage one zero voltage to one point eight period let the period be one microsecond delay time rise time okay pulse width 0.5 microsecond fine now we have to wire them press w We have to connect the body terminal also. Check and save. No errors. Just label the terminals. Uh, 
input height output height check and save mm. now we are ready to simulate just check click edit prop mm. ok properties or use the shortcut Q DC voltage set as 1 volt save everything looks fine let's simulate launch ADE choose analysis we want transient analysis uh, use 10 microsecond enabled ok and what are the output we need to plot we can select it from the schematic input output we selected mm. we can see that here input and output let's simulate Yeah, looking fine. Oh, why it is like that? Okay, our input is 1.8 volt maximum, but our uh, VDD is only 1 volt. Let's change that VDD also to 1.8 volt. We'll get a nice plot. Okay, check and save. Uh, run this close this simulate again yeah here we got a nice plot ok if you want to zoom in the x direction you can use this come back fine uh, now we can uh, create a symbol of the inverter so that you can use it anywhere in our design let's delete all these components select press delete button uh, now we are making symbols so first add some pin we need a input pin input height place it again output pin output height place it connect with the wire ok then we need VDD input output height place it we need ground height place it check and save no errors now create cell view from cell view ok okay here it is delete oh undo that press u to undo memorize the bind keys select edit properties just name as inverter okay fine delete this part also create shape straight line click 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 that's fine 
create shape circle small circle place it here mm. VDD ground put check and save no error close this close this also Ch uh, check the library manager now he you can see here to sim schematic view and the symbolic view now we create one more cell view as a test bench for inverter inverter test ok add instance ok we pulse pulse way we need 1.8 volt period 1 microsecond Pulse with 0.5 microsecond hide place it uh, VDC DC voltage 1.8 volt fine place it add instance ground hide fine yeah now insert our inverter here it's in tutorial 2 oh wrong library is cadence tutorial 2 inverter close hide sour inverter we designed now wire them up find let save oh zero error and two warnings what are the two warnings close check find marker these are the two warnings floating pin floating pin warning we can ignore now only warning we can ignore now as time being close it mm, not now low end ADE trans in response 10 microsecond ok from schematic oh we didn't label the wires right cancel let's label in out hide in place here out with place here check and save ok set up output from schematic in out ok check our ADE here it is that's fine let's simulate yeah this is what we expected same output uh, check the schematic window again if you want to see the circuit inside this symbol select that edit hierarchy descend edit or just s press more letter e ok here is the circuit inside the schematic if you want to return to the schematic control e ok mm, 
yeah that's it this is the end of the second tutorial thank you